Hey guys, just another unscripted update on the Kite Motor project. Um, so the main changes I made are that in the motor assembly we now have um, a fin so that the prop um, hopefully doesn't get damaged. And uh, also I included the mounting uh, for, for the motor assembly um, yeah, into uh, the main part here so that no pipe clamps are needed and there is less water resistance. The next big change is obviously that I um, shortened the motor wires and I put the ESC into the battery box and mounted the whole battery box to um, that little tube here. And that is a little flimsy but it works, I mean it doesn't break. So, um, and um, another very practical change that isn't, yeah, um, I mean, is that lever here. Out of necessity, I um, fitted it with the water cooling for the ESC. Um, here is the inlet, and it goes all the way to um, positive displacement pump. Um, it's a membrane pump, uh, works pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, here it goes into the EC, and um, in the video we can see that it kind of just sprays out the side. Also, the um, the water pump, so it doesn't run dry, has a little um, a little trick. It switches on uh, when it comes in contact with the water. Here are the contacts, and I just put a little transistor switch uh, on there, and also a starting capacitor for the motor because the pump is kind of, yeah, it only starts with the capacitor. So, um, yeah, and also, because there's a transparent box and the sun it might get very hot, so I fill it with a little fan. And, yeah, it looks all very improvised. Well, let me open that. So it's all uh, a little improvised, but it works. So I also put another fan on the uh, ESC just in case that the water cooling jams. Um, I mean, I put a little self-made filter on the end of the tube, but just in case. Um, yeah, also um, I used the ESC, the 180 amp ESC um, from my jet boat, because uh, the original ESC from Hobby King, the Eternity ESC kind of, yeah, kind of burned out. And in the future, maybe I will also make some current me measurements. Uh, so far, it seems that uh, the motor, on average, uh, draws about um, maybe 15 amps. 